Make sure you stay until the end to see how you can own this awesome piece of art. Alright guys, so I caught my first king salmon. I want to commemorate it on uh, some rice paper. So this is rice paper. Uh, it's a Japanese art form called uh, gyutaku. So let me know if I pronounce that correctly. We have some um, ink here. We have a brush and then we have the rice paper. And basically I'm going to brush the ink onto the king salmon. And then we're going to take the rice paper put it over the king salmon and hopefully it'll make a nice print of that salmon. Let's see how it goes. I just watched some YouTube video. I figured it'd be cool uh, to do it myself and try it out. So I think what I've seen online is they cut this fin here, the dorsal fin, ink it separately. So let's do that. So we'll save this, try a little bit. I think the next step is really to dry out the salmon a little bit and at the same time we open up this rice paper and I'll pre-cut the rice paper as well. We have this knife here. Scissors. This is a very interesting paper. I don't think it's actually made out of rice. I could be wrong. This guy. All right, so next step is I'm going to take this special ink. It is edible, so no worries afterwards because I'm definitely going to eat this fish. Just pouring some, uh, some of the ink in. Take the brush, mix it a little bit. Hopefully this is just the right consistency. Right, we'll see. All in, always in one direction, I think. In here, let's see. Should be a little over on, go, on both ends. Do you go at the same time or do you go I think, little uh, by little. I think, uh, no, no, no. So we can start from the head here on your side okay. and we'll just pat it along the way. Okay. If it doesn't work well, we can always re ink. Do another one. Yeah, go just ahead. Tell me when, yeah. Okay. So a little too much yeah, ink on this, this end. Yeah, this one too, just be careful. Oh shoot. Yeah, and then too much ink on the front. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just careful not to rip the paper, especially on the inky spot. Looks pretty cool. It looks great. Despite being a little baby. I like the way the tail looks. Here, let's show the camera. Let's bring it underneath. Here. And then go to pull it. Yeah. So that's what it looks like first time trying it. Nice. All right, let's try again. All right, so we're going to try a second time here. Maybe get a better print. Let's see. So a little too much ink. Right here, there seems to be like a, some rice paper film.
right, so I took the first practice print. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wet this fin and put it right there, see how it looks. And same thing with the adipose. We'll try it out. So just take this ink. I think there's too much ink on here. That's fine. We're doing a practice. It goes right about here. Hmm. What do you guys think? Use some more practice, right? Definitely too much ink. What I also noticed was that um, there's some fibers from this rice paper that stick onto your fish. So make sure to wipe those away. I dab some water with some paper towel. Um, but yeah, let's try this again. Curious. There's a lot less ink on it. Okay. You see, that's the fiber that I'm talking about. So yeah, just make sure to take it off. Might as well practice the adipose, which is this guy here. There you go, I got the adipose up. Alright, so here's one which I really like. And this guy goes right here. Okay. Cool. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good to me, right? Love it. Love it. I'm gonna do one more. Well, there you have it, guys. My first salmon. I'm gonna frame this. I'm gonna sign this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, really enjoyed the fight, but also learning how to do Gyutaku, Gyutaku. Guys, I have an exciting announcement to make. I've made a total of three prints of this first King Salmon. I'll be keeping one for myself, but the other two are for you guys. I've created this one specific piece here that you are seeing as a digital print of my first King Salmon and it is in the form of an NFT, meaning a non-fungible token. It is a unique piece of digital art that you can own. And as an example, a cyberpunk NFT sold for $7.2 million in March 2021 at a Christie's auction. I'm not comparing my digital art to cyberpunk, but this is definitely a unique piece. And if you've been following me for a while, you know how hard I've been trying to get a salmon. And you may or may not know that fighting and landing a salmon is one of the most challenging things to do on a kayak. I fought this specific one for 35 minutes. So that's why I want you guys to have a little piece of this history here and give you the chance to own a piece of digital art in the form of an NFT. I'm going to put the link in the description below on how you can get it. It is listed on OpenSea.io, which is the most trusted and largest NFT marketplace online. And I've set the price to $100 for this awesome piece of art. It's very easy to purchase and just follow the online instructions. Make sure to subscribe and put the notifications on to find out how you can own the third and last piece of this Gyutaku First King Salmon in the next video. Take care, guys.